You're watching Alaska's News Source. Oh, Jackie, I'm learning. See, as, I, as I've been here almost two years, he's bigger than Elvis. And, yes. and people across Anchorage and beyond are standing in line just to get a picture to say they were there. <laughs> well, it's Snowzilla, the almost 25-foot-high snowman. He hasn't been seen in a decade, but he's back, and people are giddy to gather around the giant phenom. Back and bigger than ever. Why, why are you so happy? Why are you because so I see a big Santa. <laughs> That's not Santa. Oh, what's this? Snowman, sorry. Really? <laughs> it is big and people lined up to get a picture with. Why are you here today? Uh, because I want to see Snowzilla. <laughs> Snowzilla! This average residential neighborhood in Anchorage is a not so average snowman. I came here to look at this um, big snowman. And not just Madison, look at all these people lined up. One, two, three. To have a moment of magic with the popular round mound of snow turned man. After a 10 year hiatus, people are just hungry to pose with the big guy with the top hat and the kind of carrot nose they came from all over. Oh, yeah, oh. I'm originally rich, rich from Southern California. Oh. We're just curious about visiting the last frontier. Oh. I live in Canada, in Vancouver. There oh, were even I... doggies and booties in these twin canines and even twin twins. Look at a giant Godzilla snowman. <laughs> and they had questions. How did it get that giant top hat on? I don't, I don't know, but we do know that people seem genuinely happy just to be in his presence, and we know the name for sure. Snowzilla! And there's that famous song. Snowzilla, the snowman, was a very happy soul. Snowzilla! He was really big, got a big top hat, and I'm singing songs that I don't know. I got caught up in the hoopla. Anywho, look at all these happy people getting their picture with the big pile of snow. It was nice. Everybody's behaving themselves we well here. out here. We're all in line. Yeah. And... Yeah, well... I've never seen people so good in my life. Everyone was friendly, happy. It was the best Christmas fair I've ever seen. You never know what can bring people together, but today it was our Alaska Snowzilla. And get this, Kurt here is a returning fan. And when we took this picture, we never imagined that, you know, 20 years later we got pictures of the kids again. That's right. <laughs> Those were his kids almost 20 years ago, and this is them today. I hear what, it's, it's really special. I'm glad this person did this. This is really nice. Yeah. What a memory. And that's all we have, right? So whether it's jumping for joy or just saying you were there, thanks. I mean, the mankind has brought me back to the love of everything. This has been a great group of people. Snowzilla. He made people's day, and you can't take that away. I'm Dave Allgood, and that... Well, he's great. <laughs> it's like he's alive. <laughs> the All Good News. And now, just so you know, we reached out to the city because the last one got taken down to find out their response to Snowzilla. And uh, Luke Patrick with the mayor's office told us to date, code enforcement hasn't received any complaints on the snow person. And if we do receive complaints, they say they will investigate as required. Additionally, the building uh, officially uh, official will not be issuing any notices of permit uh, requirement as of today. So. Yeah. And according to Daryl Estes, who lives across from Snowzilla, there on Columbine, uh, it looks like uh, so far the neighbor. Uh, the neighbors haven't had a, a problem with it, so. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and by the way, Daryl Estes built that snappy big, uh, big Nice. Hat, by the way, so uh, kudos to those folks, and everybody was wonderful, so anyway. Yeah. All right, uh, moving on.